Save as many as you can. Everybody, it's Janie from the Neptune Diaries. Blessed day ever. What's happening? So I found something today in my studies that just totally blew me away. Long story short, Isaiah 49. I, I, I'm one that have been. Uh, I'm somebody who's been telling you that Psalms 50 is going to happen. That's what we're waiting for. Is for him to call his saints to gather his saints together to him. It's right there in Psalms 50. You can see it yourself. Go read it. Psalms 50 is the key. To all to understanding the timeline of the end. So all you people who are worried about prophecy, if you really want to understand prophecy, you need to understand what I'm about to tell you because it's critical to understanding the timeline about what's, what, what we're about to have happen to us, about what's about to happen to this world. So anyway, long and short, one thing that hit me is as I, once I understood that the gathering of the saints in Psalms 50 was equal to Revelation 12, where the woman gives birth. I started to understand something that, wow, maybe every time, I don't know, but every time I've certainly looked, when it talks about somebody respecting their mother, uh, it's talking about Israel. Or if you see something talking about a new birth, it's talking about Israel giving birth to the church, essentially in Revelation 12. So a woman on Twitter this morning, I was checking my feed, and she posted Psalms, uh, Isaiah 49, verse 1, where it says, From the womb, from my mother's belly, he has caused my name to be remembered. And I thought, wow, that is unbelievable. But the King James says it a little bit. Oops. The King James, the King James says it a little different. So let me get to it. So I just couldn't believe when I saw this because remember, Jesus said that his sheep hear his voice, right? Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. And I'm, I'm thinking like, have you, have you ever heard Jesus' voice? Have you? Have you ever heard Jesus' voice? I know I haven't heard an audible voice, right? So I'm thinking like, what, is that a, what, is, what does that mean in fact? My sheep hear my voice, right? He called me from my mother's womb. Isn't that Revelation 12? Don't we come from the womb? Right? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? So I started to flip out and I'm like, wait a second. Because I'll tell you, in my studies, when I look at these Psalms, I realized like he's gonna call us. He's gonna literally call us. He's gonna gather us and we're gonna hear his voice. It's gonna say, gather my saints together to me. And where is he in that moment? He's above the heavens. Go read Psalms 50, it's right there. So I started to realize, I started to, and when Jesus talks about lightning shining from the east to the west, it all starts to make sense that there's gonna be this lightning storm that's gonna happen. And Jesus tells you in Matthew 24, there's gonna be dead bodies all over the place afterwards. So I started to think like, when you look at when God calls, when he interacts with the earth, it's very stormy. It talks about fire going before him. Psalms 50, it says a fire goes before him. Jesus talks about lightning shining from the east to the west. Are you starting to see the correlation? So Psalm, uh, Isaiah 49, it says, Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken ye people from, a, from far. The Lord hath called me from the womb. He called me. So think about that. He called me from the womb. Imagine that. And so what if it's not, what if this isn't talking about, because it's, it's actually not talking about your birth or my birth from our actual like physical mother here on earth. That's not what it's talking about. 
It could be a double entendre, I suppose, and I reserve the right to be wrong. But I'm telling you right now, this is talking about the rapture. This is talking about Psalms 50. This is talking about the gathering of the saints. He called you. He's going to call. You're actually going to hear him call you from your mother's womb, from Israel. You're literally going to hear him. When you get raptured, you're going to hear his voice. And remember, Psalms 50 talks about he's going to gather the saints together to him. And then it says the heavens are going to declare his righteousness. So look at how this overlays. The Lord hath called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name. He's going to call your name. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me and made me a polished shaft in his quiver hath he hit me. And I'll go, but you can actually see this. There's light now. He it talks about this all over the place. So, and, and, he, and said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Now, I want you to think about this because it can get, get confusing. Israel is something that, like, we're part of it, but there's, there's, there's two parts to it, essentially, right? So right now, there's, there's a, a part of Israel, right, because we're grafted in, that accepts Messiah, right? Accepts Jesus as Messiah. And there's a big part of Israel that doesn't. So it says here, Then I have said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for naught and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord and my work with my God. And now, saith the Lord, that formed me from the womb, to what? To be his servant. Why? To bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, wait, wait a second, it just said, it just said that you are, Israel is gathered, but then it says, though Israel is not gathered. See, listen, there's a, there's a first wave, if you will, of saints that go up. It's there. I'm telling you right now, there's a first wave. Now, some people are going to watch this and be like, no, JD, you're wrong. Maybe, maybe so. But I'm telling you, there's a first wave that is 12, the 12,000 of the 12 tribes that equal the 144,000. And Scotty Clark will disagree with me and he'll say, no, 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 those are the dead babies and all this stuff and whatever. I don't see that. This is what I see. So thank you. Then I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for naught and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord. Judgment of who and what? And my work and my work with my God. And now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant to bring Jacob again to him. That's the purpose. We get birth in that Revelation 12 so that we come back and help Usher and Jacob. How else does the, did the Jews get provoked to, to jealousy? If not that. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant. To what? To raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. What? I will also give thee a light, I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Now, some people will say that this is talking about Jesus, and maybe so, because you know what? We are literally found in him. We are hidden in Christ. So we are, in fact, part of Jesus. We are going, we are the body of Jesus, of Yeshua. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his, ho and, and his Holy One, to him who man despiseth, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise. Princes also shall worship because of the Lord that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee. So folks, listen. It's very simple. What's the point of this? What's the point of this? We get gathered. Why? To bring back all of Israel. They see this. They literally witness this happen and they're jealous. And then they start calling on his name. It's an unbelievable thing. So go read Isaiah 49. Go read it. It'll blow your mind. Blessed ever. God bless you guys. This is a quick one. So I'll be back soon enough. Bless you. That can keep you out of hell, and it's the name of Jesus. It's the name of Jesus. It's the name of Jesus.